Hey friends and happy Memorial Day. We are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna be meeting up with some friends and riding some rides. And then I wanna see about going to rent a pontoon boat to drive it around Seven Seas Lagoon because I feel like that's a very Memorial Day thing to do. And capping off the night to head over to Epcot and enjoy a little extended hours. I feel like today's gonna be a beautiful Memorial Day in Disney. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful Memorial Day today. Look at this. The temperature is perfect out. There's a little wind and I'm just excited to enjoy the day. I've been having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend in general. The other day we went to H2O Glow Nights at Typhoon Lagoon and that was amazing. And we're just gonna continue on having fun. Another fun thing that I'm gonna be doing today is testing out one of these cool fancy neck fans. I've never worn them in the park like for a, you know, a whole entire day, so it's fun to see you know, how it works, if it keeps me cool or not. It is very hot out today and Memorial Day is like the perfect test day, so I'll let you guys know how it works. This is the type of fan that I got and it kind of just blows the air up right there. But I feel like it being hot outside, all it is is blowing hot air. Uh, but I'm gonna give it a go. Wear it for a little bit and if it fits, it works. Like I said in the beginning, I really want to see if I can rent out a pontoon boat and drive it around Seven Seas Lagoon. That's one of my favorite things to do at the resort that a lot of people don't know about. And because me and my friends have a deluxe resort, we get the extended evening hours at Epcot tonight. So I think the park closes at 9 and we get it from 9 to 11. And I'm intrigued to see if Guardians of the Galaxy is included in that. I don't know, but we're going to find out. I think we're gonna make our way towards Tomorrowland and hop on the People Mover, but look at those crystal blue skies. Like, this is a beautiful day at Magic Kingdom today. Wow, it doesn't look like there's anybody waiting for the People Mover. How lucky are we? Honestly, I'm kind of shocked because I thought it was gonna be super busy on Memorial Day, Look, but look at this. There's not even a single person waiting in line to get on the People Mover. You just walk right on. That is crazy. Any holidays tend to be busy, like you know what I mean, at Walt Disney World, and Memorial Day has always been like a busy day here, so I'm kind of shocked that the first ride we've come upon, it has basically a walk-on. Watch your step, enjoy. Oh, we got the front seat of the People Mover, fancy. <laughs> I'm hanging out with my friends Jen and Lars. Ready to do a little people moving? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a little people moving on Memorial Day. And people watching. And people watching. <laughs> he knows. Can get anybody to wave back at us down in the There you go. I love doing the front seat because you get this kind of beautiful view as you're going through. Look at that. It's the best time right here. And of course you always gotta get that beautiful castle shot. Look at that. Isn't she a Butte Clark? You guys are really trying to get a wave. You guys are really trying to get a wave. Hello! Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The girl in the red. The girl in the red. Come on. Come on. Look at us. Oh, oh you know what? We're gonna get it here. We're gonna get it right here. Yep. These are our friends. These are our fellow people movers. Hi, friends. Hello! One way! There we go! Hey! <laughs> Look at all the Yacht Club carpets down there. That's so funny. I mean, they're getting ready. This is basically, I mean, they're getting the uh, railroad back together. We're getting the railroad back together, but it was so funny that they're using Yacht Club carpets. Looks like we're coming to an end here. Coming in slow, actually, though. It's so funny because usually we're coming in hot, but nice and slow is the way I like it. I do have to say, riding the people mover with this little fan, when you went into Space Mountain, all it was doing was pushing that AC up and that felt amazing. Like that felt so good. Well, it actually looks like this might be my shortest trip to Magic Kingdom yet. So we're gonna actually make our way over to the Contemporary and uh, see about a boat. I was just reading about the pontoon boats themselves and I noticed that they stopped selling out, they stopped renting them out at five o'clock. So I was just like, oh wow, we better head over there now because I wanna make sure we have plenty of time to enjoy it. And it is a really fun thing to do for Memorial Day and I'll go over the details, but we're gonna walk over to the Contemporary Resort now and that's where we're gonna rent the boat out of. And joining up with us now is Serena Ray. Ooh, look at that. I have to do it. That was very fancy. You're gonna come with us on the boat, right? 
we're gonna go boating. I really hope we get over there and they let us out because we're, we're cutting time a little, little close, but okay, what time? five o'clock it ends. We'll make it, it's like 3.30, right? I mean, I, I only wanna go off for like a half an hour and I think it's $45 per half an hour, so it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, now you're gonna stay cool. Also, I do wanna point out, Earlier I was talking about the extra magic hours for Epcot later on tonight. That's for deluxe resort guests only. And I didn't know if Guardians of the Galaxy was included in it or not. And I just found out that they have a separate voting group for those special hours and it goes off at 6 p.m. So technically, in like, like you could ride Guardians three times in one day if you wanted to. You can wake up at 7 a.m., buy a lightning lane, then you can join the one o'clock boarding group and I think you get that extra six o'clock uh, boarding group if you have the extra magic hours, but I'm not too sure about that, but that would be kind of crazy, you know what I mean? So we're gonna try to join the six o'clock boarding group so that we can ride later on tonight. On the way out, we get to say goodbye to some friends though. Look at this, look at Minnie. It is a great day! Hiya, pal! <laughs> Look at Jen and Lars, they love them. And they have the best 50th anniversary outfit on right now. Look at that. Look at her dress. It should only take us like maybe two minutes to get over to the, uh, uh, the boat rental spot here at the Contemporary. And it's a nice little walk. Especially when you got a fan like that. Ooh, I see. I like it. Do it again. <laughs> it's like Mufasa. Ooh. <laughs> I think we might be in luck. We might have made it just in time. And it's going to be fun to drive a boat right up to Cinderella Castle and over to Discovery Island. You guys, I've done videos uh, in the past about this, but it's still one of my favorite things. And like I said, it fits perfect for Memorial Day. And here it is. This is where you want to uh, come and get your boat at, at the Boat Nook. And here's all the prices. It's $45 per 30 minutes. And then also the Firework Cruise starting at $3.99. But that's something a little bit special. I've done it before with Garrett, actually. And uh, yeah, we're just going to rent it, go out and explore a little bit. And it's up to 10 people, too. So that's really amazing. All right, it's time to head out to our boat. We had to sign a little contract. We got ourselves, well, you don't have to sign a contract. You just have to sign an agreement. It, it, yeah, it is a contract, it's an agreement. Yep, and then you get a little wristband like this if you're the driver, if you want to drive. And uh, there they are. There's our boats, the sun trackers, the pontoons. Isn't it so cool to be out here though? I love it. We're all gonna try to drive a little bit, so I'll go over the driving details, but I think I'm gonna start and back it out, so I'm taking the captain's seat here. <laughs> Holy moly, don't sit on the hot seat though. <laughs> Here is a look at the uh, captain's seat. Got a little map over here that tells you all the places that you can go, the places you can't go, uh, the no wig zone, the restricted zone. It's really cool because over here is Cinderella Castle and Fort Wilderness Resort. Comes with a little Bluetooth stereo and you have to put your little bracelet on and it's really easy to drive. You don't need a special license or anything. Anybody can do it. Anybody can be a pilot. Uh, there is some age restrictions though and I'm excited. We're ready? Yeah. Oh, we're at 435, okay? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. I can't hear Look at that, I didn't even wreck. I feel good, good <laughs> Look at that view right there though. Look at the contemporary Bay Lake. It's so nice. <laughs> Look at the monorail going by right now. Look at that, it's so amazing. I love doing this. And now we're coming up on a slow, uh, no wake area. So we gotta use idle speed. Double monorail. <laughs> and there it is. Cinderella Castle, the Magic Kingdom. You can see the train station. I love it. And this is the ferry boat uh, area right here. They have the right of way. So when you're out on the lake here, all of the transportation has a right of way. You have to move and yield to them. But I love it. You can just stop and hang out here and just stare at the castle all you want. We switched out. Look at new captain. We got a new captain in the seat. <laughs> It 
It's just like driving a car, right? Kind of. Yeah. Look at Jen up there. She's relaxing. <laughs> We're coming up on what used to be river country. Now it's all demolished. Like you see these trees right here, but right on the other side of those trees, it's basically just flat land. You can see it actually. You can see construction because that's going to be, well, what was going to be the new DVC resort. I think it was Reflections. And this is the old boat dock. It's kind of crazy though. And we're coming up on the shoe tree, which is right over here. It's just so awesome to see all these things. Lars is going to take us to the shoe tree. Take us to the shoe tree. <laughs> Look at us, living our best life here, Jen. Perfect Memorial Day. Ah, yes. <laughs> Perfect right here. <laughs> I love it. This is the way to go. <laughs> and there it is, there's the shoe tree. So all of the boat uh, cast members or uh, the boat transportation whenever they retire or leave the company they throw their shoes in the tray always want to point it out look like a newer pair up top there. yeah it does look like a new pair up there all right we're switching seats again captain change I didn't overturn the boat <laughs> everyone's still in the boat you did a good job you did a good job <laughs> but wow look at that you you put us in a, such a great spot I do what I can. Well, I love it. <laughs> All right, it's time to head back in, and it's going to be my favorite part because I like to try to park it without bumping the side. So I try to make it perfect. So we're going to see if we can do it, kind of like Operation. One last look, though, at Bay Lake Tower. It's so cool seeing it this way. But you know what I mean? It's, it's just such a unique perspective. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice and center, look at that. That one's good enough. Who's good enough? Go ahead and reverse all the way down. Bring it back up. You're good. What do you guys think? Wasn't that so fun? That was great. It was. Yeah. It's great. Nice little uh, Memorial Day activity there. And it only cost us probably $40 for all of us. Like, that's it. that's everybody all together. It's up to 10 people. So, 40 bucks, well spent. Now that we got the boating business taken care of, a quick stop into Steakhouse 71 to grab a bite. I think we're just gonna go right up to the lounge area and see what they have on the menu and just relax before uh, we eventually make our way over to the boardwalk and into Epcot. I think I'm gonna get myself the stack burger. A lot of people say this is the best burger on property. I've had it before, it's pretty good. Comes with a little pork belly on there. And uh, I think Serena is actually gonna get the loaded mac and cheese. So I'm excited to see what she thinks of that. I'm not the biggest fan of the mac and cheese. I think you guys know that already. Oh, you, but she loves it, but not so much. <laughs> Here is our food. Here's the mac and cheese, that looks really good. Then looks like they top it with like some breadcrumbs. You should try it. Oh no, I'm not gonna try it. Sure. And then they got the onion rings there. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, stack burger comes with some Parmesan waffle fries. Mm -hmm. And then some onion. And you can see the uh, pork belly on there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna dive in. I mean, we're gonna enjoy. How's the mac and cheese? Good? It's so good. It's good, yeah? It's as good as I remember. Oh, that's the way. Little, it's a little spicy too. Really? See the little jalapenos? Oh, it has jalapenos in it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that before. It's really good. <laughs> now I want to try the onion rings. I don't think I've ever had the onion rings here before. So I'm excited to give them a go. Mmm. The onion rings have a really amazing breading. Very crispy and very flaky. Definitely unique, because sometimes I don't like getting onion rings because I feel like they're all the same. On top of the onion rings, they give you french fries, little waffle, well, they're Parmesan waffle fries uh, that come as a side with the burger. And these are so amazing. I love these. These are so good. And uh, I kind of like Steakhouse 71. I like that they have two separate menus. So they have a lounge menu and then they have a dinner menu. And I found out when you sit in the little room here, you can have them both. You can order dinner here, they said. And I thought that was cool. So I can have a prime rib if I want it. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but it has an amazing soundtrack over here. Like, it's just so cool. And the furniture and everything. Now it's time for the burger business. And I'm so excited. Like I said, I love this burger. So here we go. We're going in. I really believe the thing that makes that burger stand out so much is the pork belly 
and the bun itself. Like, it is so good. The bun is phenomenal. I just like coming and eating here at Steakhouse 71, though. But sometimes a little hard to eat in this room on this, like, little table. Like, look at how you have it right there, right? It's like, but it's kind of cool because it's like you're eating in the living room. We have successfully made it through the stack burger and we're moving on to the Steakhouse 71 cake. And look at this precious beauty. Isn't this amazing? It's got 15 layers because each layer is supposed to represent a level on the contemporary and it is such a beautiful cake. I'm gonna try to pick it up without dropping it. Look at that. Are you excited? I'll hold it. Look at that picture. It's so cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cut right down like this. We're gonna ruin it. Ooh, it's like it cuts so easy though. Ooh, we lost the top three layers. <laughs> Here we go. I can't wait to dive into it. I got a little bit of that raspberry sauce in there. Oop, I lost a layer. I lost a level, but we're going in. That is good cake. No word yet when the Top of the World Lounge is gonna open up here at uh, Bay Lake Tower. So this is uh, the closest you're gonna get to the cake that was up there. And it's good, like it's a really, really good cake. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it one day, it's just gonna topple over though. So I'm trying to shave it from the side. My favorite thing is just mixing it with this jam down here, this raspberry. That is such a great combination. Well, Steakhouse 71 was exceptional, like always. And now it's time to make our way over to Epcot. And it is so beautiful out. Like, this is like a wonderful Memorial Day, I have to say. Since we have a room here at the boardwalk, I parked underneath the Skyliner. And look at this. Isn't it so fancy? And we're going to be able to walk into Epcot. And that's how we were able to get uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group. Because they have that special boarding group. And we were successful at joining it. And it wasn't hard at all. It didn't go away like the normal ones. But it only pops up and appears with uh, people that are had, like people that have a deluxe resort reservation. So that was really interesting. And the boarding groups, like the way that you join it was the same exact way that you would join any other boarding groups except for it pops up and gives you the option to join it when you have that deluxe reservation on your My Disney Experience app. And it's kind of crazy, like I'm pretty sure. Now, I didn't join any other boarding groups today, so I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure if you wanted to ride Guardians three times, you can do it by basically spending a lot of money. Like, I mean, there's always, a, you know what I mean? There's always that free option, but it's not a guarantee. But it seems to be, if you're staying at a resort, then you're almost guaranteed that you're gonna be able to ride Guardians, whether it be buy a $17 Lightning Lane or be able to join a six o'clock boarding group for extended hour, evening hours. So, I mean, it's good to know that there is an option, but I feel like it should be something free for all. You know what I mean? Everyone should be able to do it. And I feel bad that a lot of families don't get the opportunity to do it like Rise of the Resistance was, but this is just for the opening like phase. I feel like the Guardians boarding groups and the virtual queue will eventually disappear like all the other ones. This has been such an eventful Memorial Day for me already. First Magic Kingdom, then driving boats on Bay Lake, a little lunch at Steakhouse 71, and now the boardwalk, and then the Epcot. Like, wow, I'm very happy. This has been great. Before we make our way over to Epcot, I wanted to show you something cool because we have a club level room here at the boardwalk. So I thought about swinging up there to club level to show you guys what it's like and maybe grab a beverage. You know what I mean? They're free. So might as well grab one there to enjoy it then, you know, pay for it in the park. And this is the entrance for the innkeepers club. And it's so cool because it's got like a little door there. So you have to actually scan your, your room key for it to open. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that so cool? Very nifty. Oh wow, this is really nice. Look at this. I've never seen this up here before. This is so cool and nifty. Hello. Hi, how are you? Well, how are you? Good, good. Look at this. They have an assortment of complimentary beverages, including alcohol. Nice little fridge with Coke Sprite apple juice then we've got some 420 pale ale bud lights blue moon angry orchard and it's all help yourself so you just grab it and go coffee tea lemonade all the good stuff oh and even uh, a little bottle service not too fancy not too shabby eh one of my favorite things is the mickey shaped sugars look at this 
They are. They make me so happy. <laughs> Look at that. I love getting to refill them. It's just <laughs> something about it just makes you smile. And what's this brown sugar ones, right? Yeah. Maybe even like brown sugar little Mickey's. I'm gonna put a couple of those in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed myself a Michelob Ultra. I thought about grabbing the good old Bud Light, you know, because I fancy it, but I wanted to be a little, little fancier, you know, a bit club level. And it's so nice they're setting up for the desserts right now. They just got done having dinner. And like I said, this is all included in the price of your room when you stay club level. And uh, inside, uh, the, for the entrees, they had salmon, chicken bao buns, chicken alfredo, a lot of amazing items that you can just come and grab. And they have breakfast and snack time. And now it's dessert time. So we're going to check those out once they get done setting up. But now I just want to kind of enjoy the view here. Sip my Michelob Ultra. Here is a look at the desserts that they have for tonight. They have French style macarons, they have chocolate mousse raspberry tarts, a berry mini yogurt trife, a 50th anniversary lemon meringue pie, some seasonal Mickey fruits, and then of course the Cordorals. The Cordorals. <laughs> Grand Marnay, Bailey's, Frangelica, Kahlua, all the good stuff. Now that we checked out the club level, we have to get moving to Epcot. And it's a beautiful night for the boardwalk. Look at this. We got some boardwalk performances happening at the moment. And it's just so beautiful out right now. Seriously, look at it. We're going to have an amazing sunset. Also, I don't know if I mentioned the amazing Captain America Roosevelt shirt that I'm wearing. Check this out. Look at that. I thought it was the perfect shirt to wear for Memorial Day, but it's also a perfect shirt to wear for the 4th of July, and I love it. And also, right now, it's like golden hour, so picture taking is a must. But here we are. We made it to Epcot. I love coming in the International Gateway side because it's so beautiful over here. Between the Skyliner and then the uh, Eiffel Tower, I just, it's gorgeous. And the sunset happening right now? I just spoke to somebody that's also here for the extra evening hours and they said that they got their boarding group at 6 o'clock. They forgot about it and they went in at 6.03. 6.03, so three minutes after the 6 o'clock start and they were still able to obtain a boarding group. That means that there are plenty of them available, especially for anyone that's staying at the deluxe resorts. But like, like I said in the beginning, I feel like if you come to a park, you should be guaranteed to get on the ride. You know what I mean? I really don't like, I'm not a fan of the virtual queues at all and I feel like there's not a single person out there that'll tell you that they are a fan of them you know what I mean I mean unless they don't like waiting in line but I would rather just wait it out knowing the fact that I can ride it I'm glad that rise of the resistance is back to a standby line and Guardians is just gonna be like this temporarily until the crowds die down and I think maybe we'll see the end of it in general like maybe it'll all be gone no more virtual queues oh my lord as I'm making my way in the UK pavilion I hear a band in the back here where like Mary Poppins used to meet at the gazebo and uh, British Revolution used to be here. I think that's the name of the band. So that's so cool. They brought live music back. Oh, I'm so pumped. Good music on Memorial Day and a trip to the United Kingdom isn't complete unless we're going over to the Rosen Crown. Thank you, I love you too. <laughs> Definitely looks like a packed house though, but it's still cool that you get to just walk in and I'm pretty sure you can stand in here again so you don't have to just grab and go again. Oh yeah, you can just sit in here and just chill out in the AC. And I think a good little Memorial Day drink is going to be the Welsh Dragon. Look at this fancy thing. Comes with peach schnapps, melon liqueur, creme de mint, orange juice, and pineapple juice. Not too shabby. I may have just gotten this drink just because of its greenish colors. And I kind of felt like it was like a, a good Memorial Day drink. And it, it's really good. I've had it before, but I don't remember it being this good. Like, it's refreshing. It looks like Harmonious is about to go off, and the park is going to close at 9 o'clock. And we just got our boarding group called to actually go ride Guardians of the Galaxy. How crazy is that? Oh, yeah, it's 8.55. So the park's going to close in five minutes. Everyone's going to be watching the fireworks, and I think we're going to be on Guardians. 
we're probably not gonna have time to watch the whole show, but at least we can catch the uh, go the distance part, which is my favorite. Not only do we get to do Guardians, but we're gonna be able to go ride all the other rides here with almost no wait. So it's really cool to do these extra evening hours and they're boarding groups 158 to 178 for Guardians. So that's not a lot because opening day they got up to the 200. So they must have had a down moment today. This is actually my first time being back here at night. So it's so fancy. Are you excited? Oh, super excited. So what, what song do you want? I want Blondie one way or another. Blondie? What about you? Anything but Tears for Fears because we got that twice already. <laughs> but I want Tears for Fears because I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, alright. I guess I want something different too. And we're just heading in. This is so awesome the way that they have this. There is no line. Look at this. We're just walking right on. This is kind of how it was for the... Uh, Regular boarding group still, so I like it. It's good to know, right? I feel like I've ridden this enough that I don't need to film the whole entire ride. Instead, maybe I'll just do a little POV showing myself. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this precious baby off. Ugh, I'm bald. <laughs> Lars laughs at that joke every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> you got your hair up? Well, one, I look like the happiest kid in the entire world. Like, I just woke up to like that. Remember that N Nintendo video from like American Space Home Video where the kid finally got the Nintendo? Oh, yeah. That was like the look on yeah. my face when I had my first picture. <laughs> oh, that's too good. <laughs> oh, boy. This play is never gonna work. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I'm on to your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> this ride just gets me so excited. Oh! Amazing, isn't it? It's just a figure of speech drafts. Oh, you are lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. so much fun. I love that ride. And like I said, I didn't have to film it all, so I did like a little front-facing POV. If you guys want to see like full rides, I put up two videos already about this ride. Today, it was just the luck of thing being here for the deluxe resort extra extended evening hours. Now, we're going to ride some more rides and just enjoy. Now, we're going to make our way up front to the park. I'm so excited every time I see Spaceship Earth lit up, though. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut? Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I think that's I think that's the second time I said that in this vlog. Real nice, Clark. Real, Real nice. nice. <laughs> also, I did speak to multiple people that said they got three uh, rides today. They bought a Lightning Lane, they got a 7 a.m. boarding group, and then they also got the 6 o'clock boarding group. So there is a possibility to do it if you wanted to. How they tell other people are actually deluxe resort guests is you have to scan your magic band when you want to go ride. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. This is a pretty cool spot to actually uh, stop on the ride. Just watch them pound 
weed's fat. Papaya. Papayas. Papaya. I don't think he's actually uh, pounding anything there. Now we're gonna go from Spaceship Earth over to Soren. Soren and make it uh, probably our last ride of the night. Doesn't think I don't think there's a long wait at all. <laughs> Looks like it's a 20 minute wait. Step in that box. Oh, oh you you're clever, you. <laughs> nice. It said 20 minutes, but it was just a walk on, so we got lucky there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Look at that. Very fancy. Oh wait a second, it is just a walk on. There's not even anybody in line. Like there's not even a single person in line. This is great. Make sure we ask for B1. Yes. The only way to go, B1. B1, that's the way. <laughs> nice work, pal. <laughs> Look at Lars's socks. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I think we are done here today. What a very epic Memorial Day. I had so much fun going around. Now we park hopped, got to drive a boat, got to have some lunch. Seriously, could you? I, I don't think I could have asked for a better Memorial Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, Gracie, where are you? Gracie girl, where are you? I have a new friend for you to meet. There she is! Woo -hoo -hoo. I got a friend for you! Say hello to Groot! Your new friend Groot! Say hello Groot! <laughs> you don't like Groot? No! <laughs> <laughs>